So next topic is converting epsilon NFA to NFA. So in the previous video I explained you what is epsilon NFA. Epsilon NFA means it is NFA in which we can see epsilon movement, epsilon transitions. Okay. So before going to explain uh, you how to convert epsilon NFA to NFA, you already studied DFA, NFA and epsilon NFA. Right? So in order to see the power of DFA, NFA and epsilon NFA, we already know that DFA and NFA are equivalent in power. Okay. DFA and NFA are equivalent in power. That is, every DFA is nothing but NFA. Okay. So, we can convert every DFA to, we can convert every DFA to NFA. Okay. Also, we can convert an NFA to DFA. Okay. So, both DFA and NFA have a equal power. Okay. Then, while taking NFA and epsilon NFA, both the epsilon NFA and NFA are having equal power. Okay. Every epsilon NFA is NFA. Every epsilon NFA is NFA. We can convert an epsilon NFA to NFA. Okay. Every NFA is epsilon NFA. We can convert epsilon NFA to NFA. So, NFA and epsilon NFA are having equal power. So, DFA, NFA and epsilon NFA are having equal power. Okay. So, next we are going to convert epsilon NFA to NFA. So, for converting epsilon NFA to NFA, we need to construct the state transition table for NFA. Okay. So, in order to construct this table, we need a property called e-closure. So, e-closure of a state, I already explained you. E-closure of a state is the state itself and the set of states reachable on epsilon moves. Okay. So, we need to find out the epsilon closure of each state. Okay, so first we are going to draw this state transition table for NFA. Then for constructing this state transition table, in order to fill the entry in the state transition table, we are using a property E closure, epsilon closure. Okay, so with the example we can see, so this is our NFA, epsilon NFA. When we are going to convert this epsilon NFA to NFA. Okay, so what we are going to do, there, there are two ways to easily solve this thing. Okay, so one is you are, we are writing all the steps by finding out e-closure, e-closure of this particular state on this particular input symbol. Okay, otherwise we can just draw and easily find out how to see the answer. Okay, so both method I will explain you, you can select anyone. Okay, so first we need to draw the state transition table of NFA. So we need to draw the state transition table of NFA. We are having epsilon NFA. We are going to construct the state transition table of NFA. From this state transition table of NFA, we can draw the state transition diagram of NFA. Okay. So we need to fill the entries here. This entry, every entry we need to fill. So how to fill this one? The state A, while seeing the input symbol 0, it will go to which state? Okay, that we need to find. Similarly, state A on seeing the input symbol 1, it will go to which state? Okay, so for this conversion, epsilon NFA to NFA, in order to fill the entry in the state transition table of NFA, we need to find the e-closure. Okay, so we are taking the state A. First, we are taking the state A. Okay, while taking the state A, first we are going to find the e-closure, e-closure of A. E closure, sorry, epsilon closure of A. So, what is epsilon closure of A? Epsilon closure of A is, A is, epsilon closure of A state is the state itself and the set of states on epsilon moves. So, from A you can see the epsilon movement to B. So, E closure of A is B. Then, from B you can see the epsilon closure of, uh, epsilon movement towards D. So, D. So, this is the E closure of A. E closure of A is A, B and D. So, A, B, D. Okay. Then, we need to find the transition on. Suppose, I am finding the transition of A on 0. Okay. So, I am taking the input symbol 0. Okay. Then, see the transition of A on 0. A on 0 goes to A. While seeing the input symbol 0, it is going to the state A. Then, B. B, while seeing the input symbol 0, it is going to state C. 
D. D, while seeing the input symbol 0, it is going to the same state itself, D. Okay. Again, find the eclosure of all the states. Epsilon eclosure. What is A? E closure of A? E closure of A, we already got A, B, D. E closure of A is A, then epsilon movement towards B, and from B, epsilon movement towards D. So, A, B, B. Then what is E closure of C? E closure of C is, there is no epsilon movement. Okay. So, E closure of A state is a state itself. So, it is C. Then E closure of D is D. So, this is our answer. So, multiple state we can remove A, B, D, C, D. So, A, A, B, D, C. Ordering is not must. So, we can write state A, state B, state C, state D here. So, so this is the transition of state A on 0. Okay. Similarly, for state A, we need to find the transition of A on 1. Okay. So, how to write this? A, we need to find the E closure. We need to find the E closure, epsilon closure. We need to find the transition on 1. Again, we need to find the epsilon closure. Okay. So, A, E closure of A is, E closure of A, we already saw E closure of A is A, B and D. That is A, B, D. Then, A on 1. A, while seeing the input symbol 1, A on 1, there is no movement. Okay. So, A on 1, there is no moment. So, we can write 5. Then, B on 1. B, while seeing the input symbol 1, there is no transition. So, it is also null. Then, D. D, while seeing the input symbol 1, it is moving to the same stage. So, it is D. Then, again, find the eclosure. Empty symbol, there is no eclosure. Right? Then, eclosure of D is D itself. So, here, these are null states. So, we got only the state D. So, we can fill the entry for transition of A on 1 is D. Okay. So, we can write D here. Similarly, find the transition of B on 0 and B on 1. So, we got the answer through this method, simple method. Okay. If we are writing it as some equation, then how to write this thing? So, how to write del of A on 1? I will show you. Instead of drawing like this, you need to write del of A on 1 is epsilon closure of del of epsilon closure of Q0. Sorry, not Q0 here. State A on 1. Okay. So, what is E closure? So, that is E closure of del of e closure of a what is e closure of a e closure of a is a b d we already know e closure of a state is state itself and the set of states on epsilon moves so e closure of a is a b d on one so e closure of a is this thing okay then same thing then again e closure of del of state a b d on 1 so we are splitting this del of a on 1 union del of b on 1 union del of d on 1 okay then again e clo epsilon closure of what is del of a on 1 a while seeing the input symbol 1 there is no movement okay so we can the answer for this thing is null okay then union what is B on 1? State B while seeing the input symbol 1. There is no movement from on transition 1. Okay. So that is B on 1 is null. Then what is C D on 1? D while seeing the input symbol 1 it is moving to the state D. Okay. So that is how we can write epsilon closure of phi union phi union D. Phi means null state null state D. So E closure of D. What is E closure of D? E closure of D is only D. Okay, there is no epsilon movement. So, E closure of D is state D. So, we got the answer D here. That, through this method also, we got the answer D.
ना कि सो यू कैन यूज दिस मेथड और यू कैन राइट लाइक दिस एंड फाइंड आउट द आंसर दिस आई थिंक दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट मेथड जस्ट राइट द ई क्लोशर जस्ट राइट द स्टेट नेम देन जस्ट राइट द इनपुट सिंबल बिफोर दैट यू नीड टू फाइंड द ई क्लोशर आफ्टर दैट ऑल्सो यू नीड टू फाइंड द ई क्लोशर देन यू विल गेट द सेट ऑफ स्टेट्स दैट विल बी द आंसर टू फील द एंट्री इन द स्टेट ट्रांसिशन टेबल ऑफ एन एफ ओके सो नाउ आई एम फॉलोइंग दिस मेथड यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज दिस मेथड That is e clo del of a on one means e closure of del of e closure of a on one. So you need to find the e closure of a first. Then you need to find the transition on one in each and every state. Then after getting the answer again, you need to find the e closure of the result. Okay. Then you will get the final answer. Or you can use this method. I think this is simple. Okay. Then similarly find the transition of b on zero and b on one. So what is b on zero? B on zero. So the state to b. Why? First, what we need to do? We need to find the epsilon closure. Our input symbol is zero. Again, we need to find the epsilon closure. Okay. So b. What is epsilon closure of b? Epsilon closure of b is. What is epsilon closure of b? B and d. Okay. The state itself and the epsilon moment from b. So epsilon closure of b is. b and d then find the transition of b on 0 and d on 0 okay so what is b on 0 b, b while seeing the input symbol 0 it is moving to the state zero, c so we can write c here what is d on 0 d while seeing the input symbol 0 it is going to the state d okay then again find the e closure of c what is e closure of c e closure of c is C itself. There is no epsilon moment from C. Okay. So e closure of C is C. What is e closure of D? E closure of D is D itself. So this is our final result. Set is sorry state C and D. So del of B on zero is state C and state D. So you can fill state C and D. Next you need to find the transition of B on one. So what is epsilon closure of B? We already got B and D. So we can write B and D. What is B on one? What is B on one? B while seeing the input symbol one. B while seeing the input symbol one. There is the edge towards B. There is no outgoing edge from B on transition one. So B on one is null. So B on one is null. Then D on one. D on one. So D while seeing the input symbol one, it is moving to the state same state itself. D here. Now this this is a null state, no epsilon closure. Then D epsilon closure of D is D itself. We have we already found. So our answer is D. So we can fill the entry D here. Similarly, we can fill. We need to find the transition of C on zero and C on one. Okay. Just try to find out the transition of C on zero and C on one. Also D on zero and D on one. Just I wrote the answers here. Okay, you just practice that. Okay, so after getting the state transition table of NFA, we can draw the state transition diagram for NFA. So how to draw the state transition diagram of NFA? In the given epsilon NFA, A is the initial state. Okay, so from the converted NFA also, A is the starting state. So you can see A while seeing the input symbol zero, it is going to the state A, B, C, D. So A while seeing zero, it is going to A. B, C, and D. Okay. Then A while seeing the input symbol one, it is going to state D. A while seeing the input symbol one, it is going to state D. So A on one goes to state D. Okay. Then next B while seeing zero, it is going to C and D. B while seeing zero, it is going to state C and also to state D. B on zero. Then B while seeing input symbol one, it is going to D. B while seeing input symbol one, it is going to state D. B on one. Okay. C while seeing input symbol zero, it is not going to anywhere. C while seeing input symbol one, it is going to B D. C while seeing the input symbol one, it is going to B. And also to D, I'm seeing one. D while seeing input symbol zero and one, it is going to same state. 
so d while seeing input symbol 1 it is going to same state okay so this is our converted nfa so this epsilon nfa is converted to nfa so we need to fix which states are final states so in order to find out which states are final state in the converted nfa we need to see if a state is going to reach the final state only upon epsilon transition then that state become the final state so in the given epsilon nfa just see the given epsilon nfa here we can see the state a is going to reach the state d on epsilon transition only look from state a we are going to reach state d from state a we are going to next state b on epsilon moment from b we are going to reach state d on epsilon moment so from a to d that is a to d means the path a to b b to d there is only epsilon transition okay so we can take a as the final state okay so make a as the final state so a is the final state a is the final state hmm? while taking b the state b from b we are reaching the state d on epsilon moment only okay so b we can take b as the final state then state d state d is already final state in the given epsilon nfa so d is also the final state okay then check whether we can make c as the final state from c can we reach the final state d on epsilon moment only no from c the transition is towards b then from b towards d okay from c to b the moment is not epsilon moment it is on the input symbol 1 okay if it is epsilon transition if it is epsilon transition then we can reach on b on epsilon moment from b we are going to reach d on epsilon moment so we can mark c as the final state but in this given epsilon nfa the transition from c towards b is 1 not epsilon transition from b epsilon transition towards d okay if all the moments are only epsilon moment then we can only consider that state as a final state so here we can't consider c as the final state because from c we can't reach from c to d only through epsilon transition epsilon moment okay so c is not the final state so these are the final states in the converted nfa so in order to convert epsilon nfa to nfa we need to draw the state transition table of nfa we need to draw the state transition of table of nfa we need to fill each and every entry in the state transition table of nfa by finding the e closure of states okay we if we are taking the state a we need to find transition of a on zero by finding first the e closure of that particular state after getting the answer then find the transition on that particular input symbol after getting the set of states again find the e closure then we will get the result that is the end ray in the corresponding set if we want to find the transition of a on one first we need to find the e closure of a then from that result find the transition on one from that result again find the e closure of that state we will get the final result okay so for each and every state we need to find the transition on all the input symbols just fill that state transition table of nfa from the table you can fill the sorry you can draw the state transition diagram that is a picture this picture okay the starting state of the given epsilon nfa become the starting state of the converted nfa so this is nfa this figure is nfa this figure is a given epsilon nfa okay so in order to confirm which states are final states in the converted nfa first we need to see we, which state can reach the final state on epsilon moment only then we can take that state as the final state okay if a state is going to reach the final state upon epsilon moment only then we can say that state is a final state here from a we are going to reach d through b and the transitions are only epsilon moves so we can take a as a final state if you are taking b from b to d there is only epsilon moment but if you are taking c from c to d the path is c to b b to d but from c to b there is no epsilon moment so we can't take c as the final state so a b d is already final state in the given epsilon nfa so we can make d as a final state okay so the a b and d are the final state in the given nfa that's it in the converted nfa okay 